All right, welcome to my August 5th live item shop review video. We had an up and down experience in the Fortnite community today. So first of all, they did announce that there is downtime for tonight. It's a downloadable update. And the major announcement, as you can see in the news feed right here, is that Fall Guys makes its way into Fortnite tomorrow. So the other bit of news is that there was going to be a huge Five Nights at Freddy's collaboration announcement today. Everyone, and I mean everyone on social media, thought it was going to be Fortnite. We had people hyping this up for weeks upon weeks, and it turns out there is no Fortnite collaboration. The closest skins we have to Five Nights at Freddy's are Meg and Webster from the Danger Ducks set. That's it. That's about as close as we got. Now, I'm sure most of you have seen the announcement by now, but it's Dead by Daylight, collabing with Five Nights at Freddy's Summer 2025. So you gotta wait a full year for this. It's a little early to announce it, in my opinion. Imagine if this was Fortnite. We'd have to wait an entire year. Most people can't even wait a week. But once again, it's not Fortnite. There is no Five Nights at Freddy's collaboration with Fortnite, at least yet. So with all that out of the way, let's take a look at the item shop real quick. We got the Deadpool and Wolverine bundle, of course, still here. I did a full gameplay review on all this stuff. If you're on the fence, the Lethal Company, surprisingly, is still here. This actually rotates out on August 7th, so you have two more days to decide on that. Pirates of the Caribbean, of course, is still here. Actually, you know what? I think this leaves tomorrow. This does. This is your last chance to get the Pirates of the Caribbean stuff, so be sure to get what you want before it all goes away. The... El Chapeline Colorado Bundle is still here as well. When do these rotate out again? These rotate out tomorrow too. Moving on down to the signature style, we've got the No Tears emote. This came out a few days ago, still in the shop. We got the rarest skin in the shop here, Bloom. So he's been gone just over a year. Not the best skin, but he is nicely reactive. And then he's got a pretty cool back bling too, Zoot. It's a nice friendly pet, although I don't think you can actually pet it. And the pickaxe is just okay, nothing special there. Sure Shot is back. He's just a souped up OG default skin, but I do like his targeted glider. It's only 500. It's got a bullseye on the top. The Jack Spammer and Growler are back. This used to be in the shop all the time. It's been gone for a little bit here. Growler, he does have a nice secondary style with the black and white color scheme. That actually looks really cool. Not a big fan of Growler though, just because his teeth creep me out. And then his back bling, Wolfs, also has a black and white style. Moving on down, we've got the ranked skin still here. Again, make sure you rank up as high as you can before the end of this season, because that's what gets set in stone permanently. Only what you achieve this season for this skin. Pickaxe is not affected by your rank, though. Moving on down, Summer Road Trip. All the songs are still here. Nothing new in the Start Your Engines tab. Level Up Quest Pack still here. Gear for Festival and Billie yes. Eilish. These were all here yesterday. Jam Tracks all remain the same. We got new ones this Thursday. Stay tuned for that. Metallica, of course, still here till the end of the season. And then the Lego stuff, Anarchy Acres. Huge Lego update tomorrow, by the way. I did a video covering that. There's going to be a new Lego kit as well, some kind of pirate theme. And then the Lockjaw Starter Quest Pack. I got to do a review on that, so stay tuned for that. But there you go. The item shop tonight is not the best, but we do have the downloadable update featuring Fall Guys tomorrow. And unfortunately, no Five Nights at Freddy's collab. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.